the way we have been educated throughout most of the world today, we think that our elected leaders have the responsibility and therefore the authority to solve all of the crises. And so what I'm saying is that when the economy goes into crises, as it always does when it's based upon fiat money, when the expansion of the money supply just goes out of control because there's nothing behind it, then eventually that big bubble that you've created this way bursts. And then when it goes back down, there's a crisis. People are out of work. They're, they've lost their savings. They've lost their homes. They're desperate. And they don't think that, hey, we should do something about that. They turn to their leaders and say, who am I going to vote for that's going to solve this problem? And so when you turn to your elected leaders and say, solve this economic problem for me, which is really my responsibility, but you do it, please. You'll say, oh, I'm glad to do that. Now just give me your freedom and I'll do it. And that basically, in a nutshell, is what happens. If you turn to the government to solve all these problems, they're glad to do it if you exchange your freedom for it, because you must do that. If you're going to give the government the authority and the power to do all of these things, they have the power to take your money, to tell you where to live, what to do, what your job is, how many children to have in your family, what clothes to wear, what color socks, and so forth. They have to have that authority, or let's say, well, we can't solve this problem unless you give us all of your freedom. People don't see that connection. And so whenever you see a society go into economic crisis, you see people giving up their personal freedom in order to have financial security. You cannot have one without the other.